So our two by six subfascia is gonna come and dive in like this, and then our fascia is gonna extend out to our trim board. We call them fly raptors, some people call them barge boards. Okay, so I just, this is how we cheat. Because it's pre-attached, and I wanna know on that wall where the soffit goes, all I have to do is square over from here and then measure off my bottom plate. So here, let me just run through the math here. Our soffit is 16 inches plus a half inch for the wall sheathing. And then we give ourselves a quarter when we frame that. That would be 16 and three quarters. Notice that I've cut this 17 inches. The reason for that is because as we lift walls, we find that the soffit always grows a little bit. And so if we run this just a little bit long, we can always cut it back if we need to, but more often than not, it planes out perfectly. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we build our horizontal soffits on the wall before we lift it. It's an easy process. It's really fast. This is gonna be the slowest we ever do it because this is a training session. Neither Kyle nor Noah have ever done this before, so we're gonna take it kind of slow and show how to do it, and we're gonna take you right along for that lesson. Gracias. It's like the, literally the only time I need it. I'll show you what I'm doing here too as soon as I get done with this. Righteous. Okay, so now our soffits are going to be square to a plumb wall is level. So there's the bottom of my subfascia. I'm going to, right there, going to mark here. Now I'm just going to measure off of the floor. Let's see, I'm going to make this easy. Let's bring it over. Now we're just going to measure off the floor. 106 and 13 sixteenths. I'm going to write that down so I don't forget it. 106 and 13, that is the bottom. Let's just do this. 106, 13. Bottom. Bottom of the soffit. <laughs> what was it, 106.13? Oh, I'm pretty, you know, honestly, yeah. Yeah, it's, it was kind of in between. And I find sometimes it depends on the tick mark, you know, like how well it's drawn. Okay, we can try my blue. I haven't marked it, not yet. You haven't marked it? Oh, okay. Then I'll come to you if you mark yours. And then after that, Noah, if you cut, so we're, twenty-three and eleven sixteenths, okay. sharp to sharp of forty-five bevels, just like you did the other day. Okay. Cut um, two of them and then rip them in half out of two by six. Okay. You, that makes sense. Yeah. All right. Who wants to build soffits? All right, does that show up at all? <laughs> I didn't realize my chalk line's basically out of chalk. Oh yeah, we can see that. Okay, so I wanna check real quick, Kyle. How far down are we from the top? I'm gonna check it against the drawing. Two and a half. I think it was two and seven sixteenths, so that's good. Okay, laying out top plates for rafters. From the very outside, 23 and a quarter to the rafter. Now, I'm just gonna go through. Mark both sides. That is the edge. If you're new to the channel, this is the Bigfoot layout stick with inch and a half tabs at 16 on center and two foot on center. I use it to lay out all my interior walls, most of my exterior walls, and this particular layout stick is from 2006. The tabs are slightly bent. <laughs> I need to buy a new one, but it uh, speeds up layout. On, I think it's time to order a new layout stick. I literally just said that. This is one of those like slow ways to be fast, so to speak, is by doing the layout now we don't have to get on ladders. So it's quicker, it's safer. Why wouldn't you do it? 
Well, I know why I wouldn't do it, because sometimes I forget. And I wanted one really bad. And then I found an old one in our old trailer. And then went to the trade show and Bigfoot had them. Yep. You can definitely get by without it. But especially like right now, leaning over, I don't want to use my tape. It's just a little bit bent. I'm doing this because I don't want us to put cripple blocks where the rafters go. Yeah, yeah. And I'm only marking the rafter because I don't know which side I'm going to put the joists on. Usually we put them on the short, but we'll figure that out when we're actually going to. Okay. Okay, so that gives us a reference. So I'll just show you how I do it, and then we'll go from there. Is this guy, I could technically hang it out, and so I'm gonna hang it out. You're five and a half, right? So I'm not gonna hang it out too far because we can extend the other one. Okay, so I just bring it to the line and I have my double top plates. Nothing too rocket sciencey about it. Yeah, whatever keeps it down. Like, uh, I'll just keep it straight. You know, it's not structural, so it doesn't have to be too crazy. Says the guy just blasting nails. So if you want to nail on the next one, then I'm just going to lay out where the blocks go. Well, actually, yeah, let's get them all, and then I'll throw the subface on. And then that last one, Kyle, let's cut it off about a half inch short of the end of that zip. Yeah. For a 47 foot, one inch wall, this is 48 feet, but we're, we're fitting it in between rake walls. Ideally, I would have loved to have had this wall done first, and it could have, anyway, I could have extended the soffits, but this process takes about 10 minutes once you actually have done it a few times, because then everybody knows what their job is. We can assembly line it. To put 47 feet of 16 inch soffit on in 10 minutes, that's a significant time savings. I mean, 10 minutes just to get materials over there uh, and ladders if we were doing this after the fact. Since our subfascia is two by six, I'm gonna go ahead and lay two by six right next to the two by four, because when I mark my cripple layout, I can just scribe that through. Just like wall plates, if we were doing interior or exterior wall plates, what that's gonna help us to do is square up the soffit before we nail off the soffit. Boy, I'd really like our subfascia. There's no way we're lifting this wall. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Go to there. Okay, I'll nail that. Hey, who put this two by six in my way? Okay, let me see here. Let's see, so then just the rafter butts into that. It gives us a slot because the rafter is calculated to the plate and this thing is obviously on the sheeting but often it hangs past the plate. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is line up all of these two by sixes. I'm gonna let that guy just go there because we're gonna extend onto it. You okay, man? I'm okay, it's also okay. Oh, pro tip, use straight two by six. The two by four doesn't matter because we're pulling that to a snapped line. Use straight two by six because it'll help us to straighten those soffits here in just a moment. All, all the rule is on these is that we don't want our little cripple studs to land where there's a raptor. 
Okay. So that's part of the reason I laid it out. So basically, if I go off of this guy and I center it, that's what I like about this Martinez square. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the same thing. That is the edge. And this time, four foot on center. We didn't start the fire. It was always burning. You get one guess to figure out what the first song of the day was. <laughs> okay, so now we're to these soffits. It's 16 foot long material. We're just gonna put a cripple block every four feet. There's no sense in adding extra material. It isn't necessary. However, if you follow the LP instructions, depending on the, the width of your soffit, you may need to put cripple blocks like every 16 or two foot. I don't remember offhand. So read the instructions and follow them. Oh yeah, in case you're wondering, that's not a bald spot, that's a solar panel for a framing machine. Slash YouTuber. Slash sign, I'm getting older. Yeah, feel free. Let's see, I guess that's all nailed, isn't it? Oops. So I'm just gonna go two or four foot on center for these. We don't need that many of them. We didn't start the fire. Okay, what I'm gonna do is switch that up. Since, okay, so I'm just gonna put one here. If you wanna go through, Kyle, and scribe onto the two by four, those cripple marks down there. It is super important and also really hard to do sometimes is to let your guys stand around so that they can learn the process. You will save a load of time later, but still, right? Nobody wants people to stand around, but they need to so that they understand the process. It's part of training and we will reap that back in spades down the road. You all done, bro? Yeah. Go ahead and just Throw away all of your scrap. Okay. Thank you, sir. Counter to the way that I grew up, which was I didn't really put away anything and everybody else was always on me to put away stuff. Get rid of your scrap as you go. The small stuff that's not usable. It keeps the floor clean. Uh, when the floor is clean, there's less anxiety. It's just having less clutter on the job is good all the way around. Nothing special here, just two by four, two nails on one side, one on the other. I took a roof framing class through JLC Live back in 2001 from Nebraska, taught us, is that on the rafter square, they have numbers that are basically like equivalents of three, four, five, because the Amish build everything square to plumb. Well, that's exactly what we're doing here. It is just, so the reason I laid them out, I think this guy is because, yeah, man, well, that was nice. Go through and just nail them, flush on the bottom. Flush the bottom. And then, yeah, the layout marks help us to stay square. Before we nail our first piece on, we'll just, um, we'll just square up like one set of marks, tack it, and now it's gonna stay, st stay square. Yeah. Righteous. Giddy up. All right, duders. Hey, no, did anybody ever tell you you're probably the smartest guy out here? <laughs> not me. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Told you, my mom told me I wasn't the brightest guy. You know, I think if you add up all of our IQs, we probably do hit 100. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think, yeah. you know. I think all of us collectively are the smartest guy out here. You know, I once took an IQ test online, and then I, I scored like 136. I don't know. Okay. So then Nikki takes it, but there was one question that she was stumped, and I walk over, and I was like, well, this is how I did it. So she scored a 137. It was like one point, whatever the numbers were, it was one point higher. And so sometimes she'll remind me, I'm like, yeah, but I did help you with that one question. Well, for all I know, her score would have been 150 and I, I did the question wrong. <laughs> it's like, what do I know? All right, dude, so you want to be the nailer boy for the soffit? It's really easy. Okay, uh, go ahead and hook it up and I will show you. This is how we're getting a, an assembly line going here. Does this thing not move? No, so I know. That's okay. Well, uh, yeah, actually, you know what? Let me see it. 
Okay, I set it up for, well, just be left-handed. All right. So here's what we're gonna do, Noah. It might actually be easier if you're on this side. These, uh, this soffit board is basically perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna nail it flush with the top. So if you wanna put a nail here. Right here? Yep. Now if you come like four feet over with your cat's paw, it's actually pretty close. And just make it flush. Okay. Do that to the end. Is that good? Yeah, that looks good to me. And what we'll do once this first one's done, I think because it's straight, you, like if you went in the middle, you're probably gonna be good the rest of the way. Yeah. Nice, now, that still allows us to square up the soffit. So that's what I'm doing with this guy. Since Kyle cut this right on the money, you can see I'm hanging out over here. So we need to kind of crank it that way. Let's see, it also could be the way I was doing this. I think it was. Let's do this. Yeah, we're right on the money. So now, go through and nail it 12 inches on center at the bottom. Okay, I don't have to move it? Correct. And go 12 inches on center, just kind of as you walk. I'm gonna put this guy back. Let's see. I'll probably use this once we actually get to the... Nothing really good oh. here, right? I did have a shiny down here. And what we're gonna do, Kyle, is always Vince go on the soffits or on the fascia side. I know some guys that once did three runs and the middle one was backwards. Yeah. And then he'll just work his way over to you. What I'm gonna do is get a number. If you could cut that other one somewhere around 12 foot six to 13 foot, where, wherever it centers between vents. Mind your way. Oh man. Yeah, just wherever it centers. So we'll nail one at the top and basically we're gonna repeat. Huh? Flush to that? Flush to this, yep. And like you can see that the gap's not even. That's because we're going to raise the other side. Okay. We'll give ourselves just a hair. Huh. And then same thing, just come down with your cat's paw. I think this one we're going to have to go down a hair. And then, right? Okay. Now that one we're probably going to want to go up. I think right here's pretty good. You're good? Yeah. Just watch your finger. Okay, on my end, we need to, let's make sure real quick, because I've done this before, that we didn't cut any of the cripples wrong. That looks good. That's good, okay. See? See? May I use that? Oh, okay. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle always used to say, can I see it with my hands? <laughs> can you? Okay, why am I, there we go. Yeah. Um, we'll raise it up. Yeah, why well, we got a bump, but we do. Is that good? Yep. And we're good here. It kind of lowered, so it's not like perfect. Yeah. Flush. I'm okay with that. Okay, let me just do one thing real quick. Oh, yeah. We straightened it out. Yeah, so now blast 12 inches on the bottom. Okay. And then 12 inches on the top. Oh. And we'll get the last one in. Okay, I didn't know 12 on the top. Yeah, I didn't tell you. Yeah, I can't hit that note. Now, if you want, Noah, if this is easier, let me show you. If I stand on this side of the board, sometimes, 
Sometimes it's easier. When you do the top, that's when you don't want to shoot yourself. Yeah. And so that's why it's up to you which side you want to stand on. I missed, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, uh, I was being careful because I was like, I don't want to miss. I shined it. I shined it. Oh, it don't matter. As long as the vents are up. It's, I just centered it too, so it's right and center. Yeah, no one ever sees this stuff. Just leave it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yep. Only we will see it, Noah. Even the cameras won't see it. Because you won't let them. Exactly. Okay, let's see her. We have our two shackles. Push a Hey, not too shabby. Not too shabby for a crew that has never framed a house together. These guys are picking it up quite quickly. So we've got 16 inch vented LP soffit and we're pre-attaching it to this wall ahead of time. It's a 48 foot wall, less the five and a half over there and less the five and a half here because later we're going to next week probably frame this other kind of like half rake wall. It matches that, but it comes down and returns. And anyway, we need the room to do that. So 16 and three quarters, the LP soffit is 16 foot long. That helps us to stay nice and straight. And then if we can get these panels to dry out, it's pretty dewy. We're gonna set those windows. We might not in this case, just to, just to get the wall up. But anyway, if I step back, you know, it gives you a sense of how far the wall is. And I can keep walking because Timmy has guardrails. So anyway, hey, happy Thursday, everybody. Well, that doesn't help, Noah. I can nail them like that. You could. <laughs> okay, if you straighten that side, then I'll just run a chalk line. I, I'd say go as far out as you can. To the very end. Yeah, to where... where... I mean, I could go here, but then we have to... Yeah. Cut that off. But you know what? If we do... The... Yeah, stupid window. I'm looking at it and I see just a little bit of a bump. I think we want to go straight end to end, string it and add some, and we can always take it off once it's up, yeah. Hey, look at all these, hey, we got, we got lots of squares now. And so what you'll end up doing, Noah, once that guy's good, I'll hold the chalk line and then you guys will come, like maybe right. right let's see. I think, Noah, we're gonna want one more of those. Okay. Have you got it? Can you cut us, Noah? One more. Okay. Yeah. And then rip it. Um, no, if you cut it out of two by four, that'll be good enough. Now, what I think, Kyle, is we'll probably take care of the ugliest spot first, and then the rest is probably going to be easy. We'll just run through. Yeah, so what I'll do is just, I can hold the chalk line. If you run through, now maybe I should just cut it or uh, tack it. I don't think I'm strong enough. Got like an assortment of screws. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna use the knot that we learned just to make it simple. Ah! <laughs> like a rocket. So maybe that knot is good when you have really good. <laughs> ah, I'll just run down there since you got the gun. I was gonna look so cool with that knot too. It would have been super cool if that hook would have came back and got it. <laughs> right? <laughs>
So I'm looking like I got to come this way like an eighth. I think the string line is strong, is stiff enough. Was it 23, 22, and 11? Oh man. I think it was Let's see how good you are, Noah. 2311. By the way, nice job. It is to the 16th. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to say if you're there, then I'm going to say one here and then we'll throw one down there. And how do we look on the split? That looks pretty good, man. Yeah, I say nail the top and then I can help you pull the bottom. Yeah, either or. Which one of you guys smells so good today? Definitely not. <laughs> I probably smell like good. grease and coolant. <laughs> yeah, I know. My mom would always, if I came over after working out here. Buy deodorant. That's nice. They, uh, I thought that one of the sexiest things on the planet was the smell of B.O. and sawdust. Really? I like mean, you yourself found it or you thought women liked it? Well, I mean everybody. <laughs> Why is that getting stuck? I don't know. Be careful. That's not even the one that fell. Okay, there's a piece stuck in there somewhere. You know what? I think this one still has some stuff from that. Maybe not. Maybe just pop the blade off. I'll take that guy. Yeah, that usually happens when we get... Yeah, I'll help you. Right there. Nice. Yeah, the biggest we've ever done this is with two foot soffits and it, it works so well. Yeah, wherever you want to put it, that looks good. Awesome sauce. I think there's just something crammed in there. We didn't start the fire. A couple years back, we went to the ocean down by Ocean Shores, and the little place we stayed in had this tiny wood stove. But with those like um, Presto logs. Yeah, go forever, huh? Oh man, I got that thing so hot that the thermostat in the house said 90 degrees. So we had all the windows and doors open. It was raining outside, and it felt so good to have that cool air. Oh yeah. I love it. Now we That's need like that. sometimes when it's cold out, I like blast the heat on my feet and put this under above. Yeah, yeah. We should have done layout, huh? Or the lifting straps. Uh, I, we should have done that before I sheeted it yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's what I was just looking at is... is it before we did that too, huh? Yeah, it really... <laughs> I think... Um, so I got here at 8. I probably still would have forgot, frankly. Went to get him. Got back. Everybody showed up about 8.45 and we just got into it. Yeah. If I had been here with you guys when we were doing the wall, we probably would have talked about it. Yeah. But it's okay. What we're going to do... Center, center and third, maybe? I think if we go... Typically, we would go thirds. Yeah. So we could take a number, divide by three, measure in each end, and see where they go. If you want to do that, I'm going to turn the cameras off. I still want to get these windows in. Let's center on this guy, then. I don't know. I just grab the 100-foot tape and measure the top plates. I mean, honestly, it doesn't have to be perfect. So we know it's 48 foot minus 11. You know what I mean? So if we measure, as long as we measure in the, the from the ends the same, it really doesn't matter. So 47 foot one divided by three. Yeah, basically like 15 foot eight. I mean, we should have been able to do that math. 48 foot divided by three is 16 foot. You know, we could just go 16 in from the ends if we wanted. The soffit's going to help us a lot. Yeah, 4816. Let's leave the video there. I think that's enough to cover in this video, the soffits. As you're seeing this, though, this is the wall lift. We're going to get into that in a future video. Notice that the windows are installed. So the next video is going to show how to install the windows so that the reveals are on the money. We take advantage of all the time savings and safety and all that good stuff of pre-installing them. Anyway, we'll just get into all of that in the next video, and we'll go ahead and finish the lift on this wall, because I want to show you how the soffits tie together. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. It tells YouTube that this content is worth promoting, uh, and I mean, I hope that it is.
even if it's not, I, I think we should just promote it, right? Let's just do that. Hit that like and subscribe button. I really do appreciate everybody who watches and asks questions. See you in the next video.